that follows us in uh, this series of the message for the day. I'm going to start today with a little summary of how this practice for the day is performed. Basically, it's based on one simple concept. Instead of trying to get somewhere far away, you are just going to try to get to the end of the day. And you are going just to try to make your day a good day. Now this is the, the energy you need to do this. You can draw it from your meditation practices. If you don't practice any meditation, uh, you can learn uh, from very good teachers in our platform. If you are practice, if you are a practitioner of meditation and you've learned in a proper organization, you just continue doing your meditational practices. If you want to deepen into your meditational practices, we have advanced courses in the platform also. So anyhow, going back to the practice, I am going to propose certain concepts, certain ideas, and from them we are going to take a practice that we are going to do for the scope of one day. That's all. Uh, you don't want to keep doing that practice every day, you don't want to get obsessed, you're just going to try and make this practice for this day. We will be meeting here every day in the morning and I will propose the practice for the day. You could be doing this practice that I am proposing today tomorrow and you start the day with the practice. Mm? I will explain one of these days eh, a little bit the, 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 the discipline for the day. But for today we will have a little practice that you will practice today. So the title of today's message is If the milk is off, I make myself a yogurt. It is a practical construction in which we are involved. We are building the conditions that brings us happiness. Now, this method that we are following with this message of the day <coughs> is based on the cycle of life. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Now in winter, you know spring is where we plant our seeds, the seeds that will grow during the summer, that we will collect during the autumn, that we will feed off during the winter while we prepare the seeds for the next spring. Now the winter we are preparing the seeds for the next spring and of course we are eating whatever comes from last year but that's, that's nothing that we can do about it. So we are preparing the seeds for the next spring. We are building the conditions that will bring us happiness. So the seeds that through this practice we are going to build are the seeds that brings us happiness. So my advice, follow the practice every day. You will like it. It will be an experience. There is nothing wrong in questioning. There is nothing wrong in examining the grossest matter, nor in investigating the smallest atom. But the issue is the use, abuse, abuse and misuse. Man has the ability to inquire. He has a sophisticated thinking mind that can investigate things and show their causes. He can be very useful to the world if he uses his mind and his heart. The modern tendency is destruction, as has been in so many misused inventions. But if the heart is expanded and love is infused into the knowledge of that into the knowledge that the mind has acquired, all the questions and their answers can be used for the benefit of all. So, we have to inquire, exactly, we have to inquire about things, we have to use our mind, our scientific mind. Because inquiring, the inquiry method that human beings have developed, that works, is the scientific inquiry, philosophical inquiry, i.e. logical inquiry, the reason. That 
has a, a limited, a limited value, as Kant would say. Sincerity, honesty, purity, these are the qualities you have to develop. They are in you. You just need to open up. Now, when we infuse with these qualities that come from the heart, that come from that love, the inquiry of the mind, uh, by just opening, opening up, uh, then um, we are infusing that uh, very, very sophisticated and good tool that we have, which is our intellect, we are infusing it with love, which is the primal energy from what all this came about. If my milk runs out, I will turn it into yogurt. A man went to the bar every day and ordered a can of Coke, took out his can opener, opened it and drank it. One day the bartender asked him, Do you know what that ring is for? The man replied, Yes, it's for the people that don't have a can opener. And that's how we are a little bit all the time. We have our patternings about how things should be and what is it that is used for what and what is this and what is that. And we tend to label everything. And then we miss the little ring by which you can open the can and go through all the process of opening it with a can opener. We do it every time. It sounds stupid, but we do it every time. Think about it. As a friend of mine would say, go, go into that space and think about how many times you open a can of coke with a can opener. You don't need to forget about the ideals you have. Let the ideals be there. You don't need to change your ideas or the way you were brought up or your traditions. But let the ideals become practical ideals because all the philosophies of the world are useless if they are not practical here and now. So, um, well, I think this is self-explained. I mean, we have to be practical and that's why, because we are practical, we just put a practice for the day. And the practice of the day, of course, is if my milk runs out, I will turn it into yogurt. Be aware of something in your life that has run out, like the milk, that has cut. <coughs> that, you know, it's spoiled. It could be food and you could make good use with the neighbor's dog. It could be, I don't know, a table and you can repair it and give it to your son that you know he needs one. Uh, or it could be something more subtle a relationship, a, a situation, a, well, today localize that thing, localize something that have, has turned sour and turn it into yogurt, into something positive, into a stepping stone to go forward, as we said yesterday, before the end of the day. That's all for today. It's only one day. It's very easy. Just a few hours to go and then you will disappear in a nice deep sleep after having fulfilled your day properly and tomorrow, tomorrow will be another day. Namaste, have a beautiful day.